For a very long time in the cardiovascular space, low-dose aspirin was being used to prevent cardiovascular disease in patients who are believed to be at risk. And this was actually incorporated into the United States Preventive Services Task Force guidelines. Very recently, this task force has decided to update these guidelines and they have a proposal which now recommends against the use of low-dose aspirin for primary prevention. A lot of evidence is pointing to the fact that we are not seeing benefit from using low-dose aspirin for reducing this risk in patients who don't already have cardiovascular disease. I want to use this opportunity to point out that this is only limited to a specific group of patients. For patients who already have known or existing cardiovascular disease, this includes stroke or heart attack, or if you've had a valve replacement, this new guidelines do not apply to this patient groups, and those patients still benefit from staying on the aspirin. The evidence really has been pointing towards increased bleeding risk in older patients, specifically those older than 60. And in the cardiovascular world, we've known that statins kind of have a stronger cardiovascular benefit than low-dose aspirin. In the last three to four years, with the uh, release of the results from three very large aspirin trials, it did basically bring home the point that the benefits from low-dose aspirin were minimal to none, albeit at the cost of high bleeding risk. Our guidelines, not just in cardiovascular medicine, in medicine in general, tends to change over time as we get more scientific evidence to support what we do, because everything that we do in this space is evidence-based. So if there's more contemporary studies, more contemporary research that is providing additional, stronger evidence, the guidelines tend to move with this, and that is why our guidelines tend to change over time.